Greetings and salutations, people of the internet. This is Master RBG, and it has been a while. Sorry about that. I was kind of busy with work and fixing things around the house, and, uh, well, there wasn't a whole lot of time for video recording or editing. But, it's alright, that's about to be uh, fixed very, very soon. So, today I have something a little more down to earth to get me back in the swing of things. Today we are going to be doing another Cheapskate Gamer Challenge, but this one with slightly different rules. This time around, I don't actually have a full piggy bank, so I'm going to have to set the budget ahead of time, and I'm going to go with 25 bucks. So no matter how tempting any deals might be today, we have to keep it under $25 no matter what. But this also means we are not limited to just Steam this time. The only reason we were limited to Steam the previous time was because eh, that's what Coinstar gives you a e gift card for. This time, it's coming out of my own pocket normally, so it can be on whatever I feel like. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Okay, so here we are on the Steam page. Let's see. Apparently Devolver Digital's got some stuff on sale, up to 90% off this weekend. Nice. Let's see, Planet Zoo, Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Interesting. But, uh, you know, I, I do try and top myself every ever so often. 10% off isn't that much of a sale. I, I feel I can do better. I really do. Let's see, Dark Souls. <laughs> no, no thank you, sir. Uh, maybe ukulele for the impossible layer. But uh, that's a bit more than I'm willing to spend. That might be what I end up spending for this whole entire venture today. So, no, not $23.79 for that. Jackbox Party Pack. I think I have the first couple of these. And I never really get to use them. I should really get around to that. I'll have to check and see with some of my Twitter buddies, see if they might be willing to do a group game and let me record it. We'll see. Okay. Community recommends Fallout 76 Wastelanders. No. Never. Uh, hold on, just just out of morbid curiosity. Okay, it is forty bucks for the base version, and sixty bucks for the deluxe, which comes with the new content. Is that right? I think it is. Okay, yeah, and if we get either version, you get the classic collection as well. But I'll be honest, you're better off just getting the classic collection by itself. That's only like 20 bucks, assuming it's not on sale. Which I don't think it is. Okay. We've mucked about long enough. Let's check what's on my wish list. Ooh, Crypt of the Necro Dancer. That's nice. Finding Teddy. Little less sure about that one. Agent A. That one looked good, and Lord knows for four bucks out of what's originally twenty, that's pretty tempting. Now you see a hand painted horror tale. Or adventure, you know what I mean. Interesting. What does it look like? Y you gotta remember, when I add these things, it can be months before I actually look at this stuff again. Well, it certainly looks grisly enough. I gotta have a little fun with this. Yeah, we might throw that one in there. And then I can bring it up again around Halloween. Nice. Yeah, we might go with that one. Okay. What else we got? Hotline Miami 2. Wrong number. Got some really good sales on some of these. Dear Lord. Heavy bullets. 
Well, I mean, they're made of metal, so they can't be but so light. Randomized first-person shooter dungeon crawler. Players make their way through a colorful maze while protecting themselves from aggressive creatures and malfunctioning security devices. The goal lies at the end of the 8th level, where they must reset the security mainframe, restore order, and... Dot, dot, dot. Dun, dun, dun! I feel it should have just been done with that sound effect. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. You be the judge. I don't know. It looks like it has some possibilities. Looks like it could be a little interesting. Let's see. I recognize Titan Souls. I have that on my PlayStation 4. But I can no longer record off of my home console, so PC is pretty much it for me now. So, I might go ahead and grab that one just so I can do a review later. Lego Marvel Avengers, Piku Niku, although I have it elsewhere, Swords of Ditto, high word that YouTube will likely never let me say. What's going on with this one? Neon Soaked Arcade Action First Person Shooter from Terry Villman from Heavy Bullets and Dosion into the Gungeon Gang Beast. Hmm, interesting. Okay, this this looks sufficiently ridiculous and silly that I I feel a connection with this one. I think this is a good one. We'll we'll go with this one. Oh, yes, I think we'll go with this one. <laughs> it's too stupid and silly looking to not get. Okay, so we're going to go with Crypt of the Necrodancer. We will go with Agent A. 698 so far. We're doing well. We're doing very well. Okay. Let's see, Hotline Miami, oh, what the heck. Toss it up. Ollie, Ollie, mm. I think I've played one of these on PlayStation Plus at one point in the distant past. Yeah, I'd prefer Titan Soul though. This Titan Soul just looks so much cooler. Oh wait a sec, what does the Collector's Edition have that the other doesn't? See this is my one grievance with Steam a lot of the time. When they mention a collector's edition or something like that, they won't mention what's in it. It's so annoying. But you know what? It's fine. I'll just get the regular version. It's all good. Okay. I had that one. There we go. Okay, my goal here is to not go above 25 bucks. I feel that's spending too much in one shot here. Because in case you haven't noticed, this entire channel runs on a shoestring budget. Because honestly, it's not like I make any money on here. I do this purely for the love of the game. Well, games, plural. Uh, the rest are a little too pricey for me at the moment, but that's all right. We got a good start here. All right. So in the cart we got five games so far. High board I can't say. Titan Souls, Hotline Miami 2, Agent A, A Puzzle in Disguise, Crypt of the Necro Dancer, for sixteen ninety five so far. Not bad. Okay, so we're up to about 17 bucks. Let's see. Ooh, Galaxy of Pen and Paper. Okay, 
a while back I did a review for Knights of Pen and Paper 2, and I mentioned there was a pseudo-sequel. This is the one I was talking about. This is the space version of Knights of Pen and Paper. And yes, this is getting added to the cart. Because that's too good a deal to pass up. I'm sorry, but it is. Okay, so it should be up to 20 bucks at this point. Probably get one last one in here. Not quite sure which to go with. Let's see, who was reasonable? That's a little more. Hold on. It's gotta be somebody else who's down at about the level we're looking for. No, no, no. I would like to play this one at some point, but not for that price tag. Not just yet. <laughs> Foot LOL Epic Fail League. You know, I think that could work. Let's double check. Ooh, for the king. For the king's on sale for a pretty decent chunk off, too. And that's it's tempting. It's very tempting. Oh, by the by, the reason why almost everything here is 20% off is because I am still a Humble Choice member. You might remember I'm also a Humble Monthly member from a while back. That kind of carried over. Humble Monthly is now Humble Choice, but I still got an in-store discount with it, so that's still good. Really want to get Kingdom 2 crowns at some point in the near future, because I love the first one. My little sister loved it too. It's really good. Okay. So, tough call. I really want to get that one, but it's a little too high up in price. I'll get Foot LOL. Just because, heck, it might be good for a short video, maybe even early next week or something. We'll work on it. Let's see. Anything else? Actually, you know what? Let's go to Humble's main page. Oh, store page, I guess. And see if there's anything else we can tack on. Mainlining, I think I have that one already. This is too much. This is too much for Anthem. I'm sorry, but it is. The Last Dream. That one looks like it might have some possibilities. Long Reach. Well, that sounds interesting. Action Indie Adventure. Okay. Calm down. This is all normal. Well, it's a new normal. There was a malfunction that we can't fix yet. With your help, I can make symptoms bearable. We're all in the same boat here. It should help each other. Go call for characters, puzzles, and a shock of discovery. Wait, are we supposed to say joy of discovery? That can't be right. The long reach takes place in New Hampshire. Hmm, fictional town of Bar Box. The game draws its inspiration from Lone Survivor and The Cave. Ooh, I love The Cave. That was one of the first indie games I ever played. Playing post apocalyptic world or explore a fairy field. Adventure world. You're in the thick of it. It's just around the corner from the place where you buy your groceries. Oh, that is interesting. Reach is a horror thriller hell-bent on screwing with your perception of things. You know what? I might just give this one a shot. Yeah. Head to cart. I don't think we're going to get a whole lot closer to the 25 than what we are right now. That's going to be tough to beat. All right, so let's see how we did. So, everything came to a grand total of $23.33. Uh, if you add up the original retail prices of everything I bought, it would have been $114.92. So, I paid roughly about 20.3% of what the full retail cost of everything should have been. 
paid on average about $2.92 per game for a grand total of eight games. That's not too shabby. That's not too shabby at all. Especially not with uh, any major holidays coming up or anything. That's not too shabby. You know, I did bring that up in the last video too. One of these days I'll have to do one of these during a holiday. See uh, how much better I can actually do during that. Anywho, that's about all the time we got for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed making it for you. If you liked it, hit that like button for me. If you'd like to see more of my nonsense in the future, and uh, be the first on your block to be notified the moment I post any new content here on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And if you'd like some suggestions for other videos made by yours truly, then how about these? Over here, you can check out my previous Cheapskate Gamer Challenge video. Or, you can check over here for my review of Knights of Pen and Paper 2. Check out either one, they're both fantastic, just like you guys have been. Until next time, this is Master RBG, signing off.